Hello again, everybody. I just wanted to do a start doing some videos on how to use the various tools that I offer. So let's go through how to use the shape jig. Uh, first thing you're going to find when you get it, you're going to get a bunch of shapes and a packet of uh, some nails. And what you want to do with those is just go ahead and super glue them on in. I've already done that to these, so they're in there. Um, and you'll see over here I have all the other ones in my storage rack. Um, and then, yeah, let's get into how to cut some shapes. So first thing you want to do is find the piece of wood that's the same shape that you want to cut. Let's go for the six-sided one. And then you'll want a piece of foam, obviously, the guide, and your shape. So what I like to do is just kind of, I'll we'll just set this right in here so you'll put the guide in like that. And then you just want to make sure that this will be able to go past the wire without a problem. Um, then you'll take your foam and your shape and just kind of stick it right there in the middle of it all. Uh, and then put that shape inside this. Just put it right here. And then what we do is we'll turn on the hot wire again. And you just cut through okay now that you've cut through that way you take this and then you take it and you rotate it and put it back in and then go ahead and run another cut And then what's really fun about all these is as you get to kind of see the shapes form, you get an idea for the size and you can cut all kinds of different sizes. And really all you end up having to do is move this, this jig further away and your shape will get larger and larger. Um, right now, we're almost done with our six sided shape here. One more cut. And one thing you'll see that's really nice is that you can push on this and push on this this guide. In fact, I can push on it so much it moves the, the actual proxon before it slides out of the way because it's got a nice snug fit in there. So see after we've moved this, we have a nice six-sided shape here and you just Pull this guy out, and there you are. You know, you can put it through your guide and cut off little pieces if you want, or you can do all kinds of different stuff. Um, now, if you go through and you end up getting the small shape jig, you'll get a bunch of these that are much smaller. Um, we can go ahead and do one of these as well. Got um, the scrap that I have over here. And we'll go this time, we'll go for the little five-sided guy. I think we just pop the guide out. And just to show you how small you can get it, we'll get it right next to the wire. Push the guide in. Again, you'll see it's very snug. Um, now this is the scrap I had. It's obviously way too, way big. But that's all right. And so it's the same principle. You just put the little one inside there. And you'll see we run the cut and we'll just cut these oops okay almost got it
Boop. So you'll see with a small shape jig, you can achieve shapes much smaller than this, which is roughly um, two and a half, three inches. Well, let's measure it here real quick. Yeah, about three, three inches wide at just about the smallest size, whereas these, you can get much, much smaller. This is about an inch to an inch and a half. So anybody, I, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'd love to see what you create, so happy crafting.